Hey first grade, good to see you guys again. Welcome back to Art with Miss Buchelt. Now this week we're gonna be doing another two-step project. Now this project means that we are going to be um, watching a video on Monday, there'll be a step there, and then watching a video on Wednesday and doing a step there. Now, I have to admit, guys, this is one of my favorite projects of the whole year. Usually we do it in the art room and it's super fun because I take my tables and I make them so they're flat on the ground, okay? And you come into the classroom and there are buckets of paint all over and you get to do something called drip painting. Now, I absolutely love getting messy with art and we're gonna get a little messy with this project. <laughs> okay, so just a forewarning, today's project is not gonna be messy, but the second part of the project on Wednesday will be a little messy, okay? So um, stay tuned for what that means, but we are gonna be learning about the master of drip paintings, okay? Um, that's Jackson Pollock, okay? That's his name, Jackson Pollock. Okay, now I say drip paintings, and what I mean by that means he would just drip paint all over. And what made that special was the way that he used the paint and the tools he used to do it. Okay, he would use lots of really interesting color choices and patterns, but when he would drip the paint onto his big surface, he would keep the surface flat on the ground and he would take lots of different kinds of tools and drip with that. He would take long sticks, he would use paint brushes, he would use spoons, he would use forks and knives, he would use um, hammers and screwdrivers, any kind of tool that you can imagine. Jackson Pollock used that tool to drip his paint all over his surface. Okay, so let's watch a video, a Maddie and Dada video, we really like those, about Jackson Pollock to learn a little bit more about him. Here we go. Whoops. <laughs> it's a mess, Dada. But look, the bright colors and squiggly lines. It kind of reminds me of a painting I saw in my book by the great artist Jackson Pollock. Really? Like, like a great artist? Here it is, Dada. Isn't it beautiful? It's called Enchanted Forest. Oh, oh, oh. I like the crazy lines and the blobs of color. I don't see any brush strokes, and it looks so complicated. Hmm, I wonder how he painted it. Let's go find out! <laughs> oh. Dada, Dada! We didn't go anywhere! We're still here! Hey, how you doing? I'm Jackson Pollock, and where am I? I'm Dada, and this is Maddie. <laughs> I'm so excited to have Mr. Jackson Pollock right here in my art room. Call me Jackson. I was just about to do a performance in my barn studio. I could do it here instead. You mean paint? I don't paint with an easel. You paint on the, the floor? Yeah, it's so big on the floor I can walk around it and work from all sides. Wow, I like the idea of painting on a canvas on the floor. I don't have enough paints. You can use mine. <laughs> that won't be enough. But I have lots back home in my barn studio. We can go get them and we'll come right back. <laughs> 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 
Uh, I have a cold. Oh, nothing works properly today. I don't know what it's doing. Whoa! Gotcha! Whoa! 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 My paints! Great! Uh, I'll also need tools and equipment. You mean brushes? The recombiner, Dada! It's breaking! <laughs> Thank you, recombiner. Uh, that's enough. Uh, thanks so much. It's giving us junk. Garbage. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, strange. Oops. Sorry, Dada. Hey, thanks. There's my equipment. What? You need all this, uh, stuff for painting? I use brushes like sticks to stir and pour the paint onto the canvas. Wow, awesome. He pours it and drips it and stirs it. He uses everything to put the paint on. And he gets right into the painting. Yes, into the pit. <laughs> Dada, where are we? I don't know, but uh, kind of like it. It looks familiar. Uh, my sneezes, <laughs> uh, they're throwing everything off today. Mr. Jackson, I think we're inside your painting. The one you're doing right now. It sure looks like it. And what do you call this kind of painting? Some people call what I do action painting. It's a little like performing a piece of music or maybe a, a play or something. But I don't usually get this into the painting. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Yes, it is amazing. I'm a hey. We're going to go! Run! Get oh, oh, Wow! Keep oh, running! Jump! Oh, oh. We're stuck! This blob is kind of wet! Dada, we have to get out! I uh, don't know uh, how! Let's uh, go! Oh. Oh. This gallery is showing some of my paintings. Jackson, that's in my book, too. The painting covers the whole big wall. I call it blue poles. It's almost like those blue poles in the middle are like people lined up across an old painting. The food is great. <laughs> and the music. And the paintings. Wow. So beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. I better finish my painting. I want to do an action painting too. Yes, yes, the doll. Wow, me too. Wow, you put everything in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is fun. A new doll, day, a new zadu dream. Head, uh, 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 head, head, huh? No sneeze! My cold is gone! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh snacks and cocktail weenies! Yeah, thanks, Dada! Thanks, Dada! Thanks for showing us action painting, Jackson! Hey, kiddo, you're welcome! <laughs> now that's action painting! And I think it'll keep him from sneezing again! Wasn't that fun getting to learn a little bit more about Jackson Pollock? Yeah, I think it was really cool. And um, he was a really interesting person. Um, he also, at the time, was not... Um, people saw his art and they didn't necessarily think that he was any good. But as he kept creating, he kept saying, you know what, I'm an artist, I don't care. I'm always going to keep creating. Um, then people started to see that what he was making was really interesting and really unique and different than anything else they had seen before. All right, so um, you're not gonna get to do your drip paintings today. You'll get to do those on Wednesday with my Wednesday video, okay? Um, but uh, in preparation for Wednesday, 
um, you are going to need some supplies that you may not usually have. Um, those supplies are paint. Um, if you don't have paint, there's other options for paint. Okay, but your paint um, is gonna be watered down. So that means we're gonna add water to our paint so it's nice and thin and kind of goopy and we can drip with it. If you don't have paint, a couple of options for you is you could take some old markers and you can soak old markers in water and um, it'll create all the different colors of paint. You could also use food coloring in water um, to make paint as well. Okay, so those are two options to get you ready for Wednesday doing the drip painting. Okay, you're also gonna wanna find as many tools as you can find. And we'll talk more about what those tools will be um, on Wednesday. Okay, but what I'm adding here for you to do today as an activity is um, I have two um, sheets for you. One sheet has a cartoon picture of Jackson Pollock on it, and it has a little bit of information about him. So you can use that as a coloring sheet. Um, the second thing that I am posting is a color by number. Now this color by number has two fun things in it. Okay, it's not only a color by number where that means you have to add the different colors according to the number that they are, but um, it also is a uh, look and find, kind of like a where's Waldo sort of thing. So it says, can you find this? Um, and so you get to do kind of two different activities in that one um, project. Now I'm adding them um, online. So it's your choice if you would rather print it off. If you have a printer, you can print them off. Otherwise, if you have a tablet or some sort of touch screen that you're doing this on, you can save the image onto your tablet or onto your touch screen, and um, then you can color it using the different tools that are in um, the photo editor. Okay, now um, if you don't know what that is, ask your mom or dad, they'll be able to help you. But in the photos, there's a special place that um, says mark up, okay, and that means that you can pick whatever kind of colored markers you want and you can color in all the different color by number areas. Okay, so go ahead, have fun with those two activities for day, today about Jackson Pollock. And then on Wednesday, we'll get to do our drip paintings. I hope you guys have a really great Monday and happy Easter week. All right, guys, have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.